Now we're going to factor by grouping. We're going to group this three-term polynomial, a quadratic trinomial, only you're going to see it's a little bit different from the first problem. Our a is 5. Our b is 19. Our c is negative 30. Remember, numbers carry the sign in front of them. We're going to multiply a times c, and that will give us 5 times negative 30, which will be negative 150. Now I factor a negative number, negative 150, into all its integer factors. Remember that a negative number equals a negative number times a positive number. So the integer factors are going to look a little bit different. Let's try negative 1 times 150. Negative 2 times 75. Negative 3, whoop, negative 3 times 50. Negative 5 times 30. Negative 6 times 25. All right, now there are more factors positive 1 times negative 150, positive 2 times negative 75, positive 3 times negative 50, positive 5 times negative 30, and positive 6 times negative 25. Now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 10 possible answers to our question, which two numbers add together to equal 19? Well, I have to look at all of them, but I can see that negative 6 and 25 will be the numbers I want, because negative 6 plus 25 equals 19. Those will be the numbers I choose. Now we're going to do this problem in two slightly different ways. Watch and see. My first choice, my first way of working this problem is going to be 5u squared minus 6u plus 25u minus 30. And then I'm going to group the first two terms and group the second two terms, being careful to leave my plus sign in the middle. Don't forget to write the middle sign. Now, Looking back at the, the first two terms, the first set of parentheses, the only thing that those two terms have in common are a u. 5 and 6 don't have any numbers in common, don't have any factors in common. So u is, is it. u is the common factor, the greatest common factor, of the first two terms. Remember to check yourself, just distribute. u times 5u is 5u squared, and u times 6 is 6u. Or if you want to be exact, u times negative 6 is negative 6u. Okay, now be sure to copy down your plus sign. Never forget to write it. And now, I know that 25 well, 25u is 5 times 5 times u, and that 30 is 5 times 6. 
So both of the second set of terms have a 5 in common. 5 is going to be the greatest common factor. So I pull out a 5, and I write what's left, which will be 5u minus 6. And to check myself, I can distribute. 5 times 5u is 25u, and 5 times negative 6 is negative 30. Now as I look at the entire polynomial that I've created here, the factored version of it, I see that 5u minus 6 matches 5u minus 6. That means that 5u minus 6 is the GCF of the entire polynomial. And when I write the leftovers, I'll have u plus 5. Now, is that the right answer? I don't know. We're going to have to check our work. Actually, I do know. I think it is right. But let's check anyway, because nobody knows everything. I'm going to F. O, I, L, with understood plus signs in the middle. Well, between the letters. All right, 5u times u is 5u squared. Outside, 5u times 5 is positive 25u. Negative 6 times u is negative 6u. And negative 6 times positive 5 is negative 30. Both terms in the middle are u terms, so I can add them. 25u <clears throat> minus 6u is 19u, positive 19u. So my answer is 5u squared plus 19u minus 30. And that is what we started with. However, there is more to this problem. Here we go. Suppose that I had chosen a different order for negative 6 and 25. Let's write with dark green to make it obvious that we're, we're differentiating. Not in the mathematical sense. All right, let's say that I had decided to write 5u squared plus 25u minus 6u minus 30. I would group the first two terms. I would group the second two terms, but, very important but, you now have a minus sign in the middle, which is different from a plus sign. This minus sign in the middle makes you change the middle sign behind it to the opposite of the middle sign behind it. So this minus is going to become a plus. It has to. Otherwise, you won't get the right answer. So you have to remember that. Always, always, always change the sign in the second set of parentheses when you have a minus in the middle. MM, minus in the middle. All right, from here on out, we're going to do the problem just like we did before. Since 25 equals 5 times 5, both terms in the first set of parentheses contain a 5u. 
I'm going to write 5u as the common factor, the greatest common factor, of the first set of parentheses. That will leave me a u plus 5. And to double check, 5 times u is 5u squared, and 5u times 5 is 25u. Now I copy down the minus in the middle, and I factor the second two numbers. Well, 30 is 6 times 5, so both of these terms are going to contain a 6. I'll pull the 6 out as the GCF, and then write what's left, which is u plus 5. And then double check my work. 6 times u is 6u, and 6 times 5 is 30. Now looking at the entire polynomial, I have a u plus 5 and a u plus 5, and they match. So my answer is going to be, that is my factorization is going to be, u plus 5 times the leftovers, 5u minus 6. Notice that this answer and this answer are the same. The only difference is that the factors are reversed. But the factors are multiplied by each other, and since multiplication is commutative, that is, order doesn't matter, we're fine. We've got the right answer, either way you work it. Talk to you later.